Okay, this is a pretty special week. It is week 10 of what is now our 16 week uh, program. And um, week 10 for our Couch to 5K members means the last week of their program. They'll run their first ever uh, 5K non stop this week. And in fact, uh, they're all due to do 45 minutes. And uh, so even the slowest will run 5K in that time. Um, but uh, it's also uh, an exciting time. We've got a few announcements um, to make. And if you've been watching these videos previously, you'll have seen that it, we had a 14 week program. Uh, we've just recently decided to push that out a couple of weeks um, due to a very exciting uh, September social that we've um, started organizing. And um, yeah, it, it basically just meant we need to push back our next intake period by a couple of weeks. Um, because we know that this uh, this event is going to attract a lot of interest um, from outside the club and we would like to be able to offer those people uh, the opportunity to come in and try some sessions with us uh, in Walkers Week, Beginners Week and Runners Week um, after the social, not in the middle of the social or having the social in the middle of, of that period. So anyway, if you're looking at the screen right now, you'll also notice um, that we are looking to change the name of Cheltenham Running Club. Uh, and this should make sense. The uh, walking community has been a fantastic success. We have a brilliant committee behind uh, the, the, the club and the walking community. And um, they're actually doing a lot of uh, contributing to um, the growth of this club, not just in terms of participants, but lifting the standards uh, left, right and center within the club and really helping us get back um, you know, to, to where we were pre-COVID. So uh, that's what the first piece is about. Cheltenham Running Club will be renamed to Cheltenham Running and Walking Club. So we'll uh, look to get a new logo together in the future and um, it'll take a bit of time to, before you really notice uh, the, the, the effects. But um, we also have, as I mentioned, this uh, big social event in September. So 25th of September, uh, we're looking to organize the biggest uh, event that we've ever held. Um, and it's going to be bigger because uh, we're looking to get somewhere between 40 and 50 kayakers, uh, well, members, along to the Forest of Dean to do uh, around four hours of kayaking um, before heading back, getting washed up, and then heading back down to the Royal Oak uh, pub for a live band and food and, and just a, a good old proper social um, that, you know, we'll have the pavilion booked um, for ourselves. So it'll actually be the first event in the club's history, which effectively we have this venue booked and, and music booked uh, just for our members. So it, it really is uh, very exciting. Uh, so that'll be 25th of, of September and we will very soon start asking for people to book in and secure their, their place for that because it's gonna come up really quick. And we also have a new attendance optimization tool, I've called it. Um, effectively, you know, uh, when COVID hit, we, we, started the, we started using a booking tool um, to effectively, because we needed people to book in in order to attend sessions, we couldn't have more than six people at certain times through uh, the various restrictions. So uh, it made sense to use uh, a booking system. But there were some benefits to using that that we didn't realize before we started using it. And you know, if you think about most clubs, um, most organizations will require bookings um, to attend classes or, or sessions of all sorts. Um, and there are various, I guess, boring reasons for that. But um, I guess the way that we want to really sort of push it out to people is that it's actually an opportunity to really improve the social interactions between members because, you know, the experience that some people get when they come along, whether it be to do their first session with the club or maybe, you know, coming back, um, is that they go to attend a session and they realize that there's no one there of their ability or their speed. And they would probably have been better off to have done the session from home. Now, obviously we want to prevent that session from, ha that situation from happening completely. Um, and obviously the ideal way of preventing that situation is that, you know, when we recognize that only or no one is booked in or maybe only one or two people have booked into a particular speed group in a particular session that we get on the WhatsApp messaging and say, oh, can you make it to the session? Can you make it to the session? And try and really sort of rally the troops to ensure that there are at least two people booked in for any group on any given session. And if there aren't, that we cancel the session. 
Um, so we've, we've now got this um, system that effectively lets users see whether anyone else has been booked in uh, to attend that session and even to see if there are any leaders booked in to attend the session. Um, because what we really want to do is make sure that every session and every group has at least one or two leaders uh, within the group who are comfortable, you know, committing to being there on time, and uh, but also comfortable, you know, knowing where the group is supposed to be going and how to keep it at approximately the correct speed um, for that particular group. So we're now giving members the opportunity to book in as a leader, um, one of two slots for each group, and. Um, you know, this system will also really help those that do, you know, commit to being a leader because if you commit to being a leader, you want to make sure that you want to know that there are actually other people booked into the session to lead. So, um, and, you know, you'll have uh, a few more details about, you know, who's going to be in the session. And it, it just helps leaders to know what they're in for when they do volunteer into that position. Uh, so I think this will really help. Um, ensure the experience of members and those leading groups uh, is, a, is a positive one. So um, that's really the basis of it. And you know, this has really come out of feedback. We've asked members, uh, you know, would they prefer to know whether their friends are booked in to attend a session? And the overwhelming answer is yes. People are willing to book in so that they know and they can communicate to others you know, that they're going to be there and they can see whether their friends are, are going to be at that session. Um, but also, if maybe they haven't booked into the session, they can then tap them up and say, hey, come on, haven't you booked into Thursday yet? Let's do it. Come on, come along. Um, and there is also the ability to book friends in, assuming that they have uh, you know, granted you that permission. They've asked you to do that for them. So um, we've given everyone the opportunity to try it out. Uh, we're looking to start formally using the system from Saturday the 14th. So it's this Saturday. Um, but you know you're welcome to to book in um, to to try it out. Um, so you can have a quick look at it here. I'll just use the runners example. You can see we've got the Tuesday lunchtime sessions, the Thursday lunchtime, Tuesday evening, Thursday evening. You also get the Sunday uh, morning session in here as well. But say I want to come along to the Tuesday evening session. I click here to view the options, and yes, I can. I'll say no, I'm not the organizer, uh, the admin of it, um, just so you can see what it looks like uh, when, I, when you're viewing it as yourself. So um, here we can see the different options that there are for booking in. So if, you, if you're in the 7 kph group and you're feeling quite confident, you know that you're going to be there on time and you, you know that you can have a look at the route and, and um, lead a group around there, then by all means, click the sign up button here and uh, you can either sign in um, with your own email address, which can set you up with your own account, or you can use one of these details here. So in fact, why don't I just quickly um, try this out with an email address I don't think is being used uh, on the system as yet. Uh, yeah, let's do this one. Click continue. Double check that it's correct. Yeah, and you can do this on your phone really easily. Um, put my name in here, and I'm just taking the one spot. It won't actually let you um, put more spots in, so you can only take one place. Put in your phone number, and I'll uh, leave that there. Get text reminders. Um, that's only obviously for the US, and so I'll leave that alone. Save and done. So here you can see that I'm booked in to this spot and anyone else who's looking at this will be able to see there's someone called Connor who's booked in with the seven group to lead. Okay, so one of the two leadership spots for that particular session has been taken up and obviously one more person is going to be able to, to book on to that. But any seven KPH runners will at least be able to look at this and say, oh, cool, someone's booked in to lead the seven group tonight. So I'm definitely going to get along to that and they can click the sign up. We're currently restricted uh, the running spots at to 12, but if we you know, start getting more than 12, we can look at uh, pushing that up to more. Um, but you can see we've got that set up for all the different speed groups for leaders and for runners. And uh, we've also got it set up for walking groups as well. So from there, we can print it or we can add it to your calendar. 
So that's just downloaded it there and uh, I'm pretty sure that you can action that to uh, get it into your Google Calendar or your Outlook Calendar. So if we come back to here, that's uh, effectively the new uh, attendance optimization tool I've called it, just because it is all about encouraging people to get along to sessions. Uh, and by booking in, you're increasing the chance that you actually do show up and attend, uh, but also seeing that there are leaders or other people booked in uh, will hopefully help to encourage you to get yourself booked in or to encourage others to get themselves booked in. And you can easily share you know, the link for others to book in uh, once you've booked yourself in as well. Tonight, we have the Chilled Out Arch workshop. So I'll be running that um, 8 p.m. on Zoom. Uh, really good for anyone who gets any sort of discomfort in the arch of the foot. Um, it could be one, could be both. But um, if you ever have had this issue or maybe you've had full-blown plantar fasciitis, you know how debilitating it can be. You know, you step out of bed in the morning, take your first step onto the floor and you're just reminded of that pain. And um, it can be a really tough one to get away, uh, to get rid of. Um, but, you know, you see here, you've got the link to, to book yourself in. Uh, just copy and paste that into your browser and you can get uh, booked in for the, for the talk. Uh, Tuesday, 10th of August, so that's tomorrow. Uh, runners meeting at uh, Presbury Park playing fields, that's the evening session. We're doing 400 meter repeats with a 90 second slow jog. And uh, the number of reps will depend on which group you're in. So you can see that here. With the lunchtime, Couch to 5K members meeting at the race course car park. Uh, that's at 10 past 12. Uh, they'll be doing their first non-stop run of the program, as mentioned earlier. So 45 minutes non-stop. The routes are available here. Uh, we have the evening Couch to 5K session, meeting 6.30 at the um, Presbury Park playing field. Again, same session, 45 minutes non-stop. You're going to smash it. You know, you will have to stop at traffic lights or whatever, um, but the idea is to run when you can for 45 minutes. Um, again, we have different routes here uh, to those for uh, difference to the lunchtime routes. Walkers meeting at the race course car park, start time either 12 or 6.15. It's the same route regardless of which one you do. Some people will do both. And um, you can have a look at the, the route options here. Uh, if you haven't used Kamut um, and you've been meaning to, then there's a great video here showing you how to get started with it. Thursday, uh, Routes for the 12th, walkers, all just here. Uh, couch to 5K lunch times, couch to 5K evenings, and the non-stop runners from here. Okay, so lots of good options. I think um, if we just have a quick look at where the runners are going, this is the 10 kph and 11 kph groups. So heading north from the uh, Hewlett Arms out towards Presbury. Obviously the faster guys will go further than this um, and the, those running in the slower groups will go a shorter distance uh, but a relatively flat session most pretty much sticking to concrete now uh, we're sort of working on the assumption that a lot of people are uh, doing Cheltenham's 10k or half marathon in September so we're looking to offer them very similar types of terrain um, and inclines to that event Saturday, we have a walk from Winchcombe. In fact, we have three different options. And uh, this will be the first session that we are actually encouraging people to, to book in um, using the new system. Uh, I just mentioned here, there is an app um, that you can download for £1.79. It's not by any means compulsory. The mobile version of the website is very good if you're happy to just use um, the link to book yourself in. So walkers, you can click this link on your phone or on your computer, and that will take you into uh, the booking app and as you saw from the, the running sessions we can access the different options here so here's the Saturday walk from Winchkin click on that continue as not Connor and um, get yourself booked and look at that we've already got two leaders booked in for the short route and um, and we'll start getting that system but these are people who I've shared the app with a bit early so they can get their head around it and obviously we're hoping that we'll get lots of people book in to actually walk the route, uh, the various options that we have. Uh, so, yeah, that's from Winchcombe. Lovely walk um, options we've got there. 7K, 15 and 21. All right, we've got a few people in the club that really want to push things, uh, push their fitness, push their endurance and um, you know, want to take on longer routes. So it's quite exciting to be able to offer those. 
Let's just have a quick look, shall we, just to see where they go. 21k. A few pictures there. But look at this. <laughs> look at that for a hill profile. Uh, if you thought that walking can't make you fit, take that on and let me know how you, how you went with it. Look at that. Getting pretty close to Cleve Common there. Uh, yeah, it's uh, very exciting to see the way that things are progressing with the walking community as well. Let's come back to the uh, session details page. There we go. So that takes us on to Sunday. And uh, again, we're asking walkers and runners to book into these sessions now. We want to make sure that no one's showing up to a Sunday club run without someone to run or walk with. Okay, so really important that you do take action here and get yourself booked in. Um, I need to fix that. I might turn it into a hyperlink, sorry. Uh, but we have the walking routes, 6K or 12K options, both from the pump rooms in Pitbull Park, meeting at 9.30 for the walkers. Runners, we have the 7 to 9 KPH groups meeting at 9.15 and 10 to 13s meeting at 9 a.m. And you'll be choosing from any of these three options. So we've got uh, two groups doing a 10K run, so those building towards you know, a personal best 10K or first time 10K at Cheltenham's uh, 10K and a half marathon um, should take on this route. In fact, let's open it up. We've got those building up to their first half marathon in a while or first ever doing the 16K route. And those looking to PB their half marathon, maybe they've been running, you know, 22K last weekend and, or maybe 18K last weekend. So they're gonna be well capable of, of tackling a 20K run and they'll have this option. So first up, the 10K route, uh, just looking around it, you see it starting up at the race course. So we're gonna meet down at the pump rooms, do a warm up up to the start points, do some stretches, and then head down New Barn Lane, down Presbury Road, uh, around through town, back onto the Honeybourne Line, up to Albemarle Gate, back down Evesham Road. This is the exact same route that you'll follow if you take on the Cheltenham 10K race and back up to the race course for the finish of that run. The 16K route we have, uh, again, starts up at the race course um, and goes into town, but then comes around the boys, it's no longer the boys college, sorry, the Cheltenham College, around Dean Close, just as you'll do if you are taking on the Cheltenham Half Marathon in, on the 5th of September. Uh, it's not finishing back up at the race course, uh, but at the pump room instead. Uh, whereas the 20K route is gonna take you are along the first 20, well, it's probably around the first 18K of the half marathon. Obviously, we can't take you into the race course, so we've got you heading around uh, anti-clockwise around the perimeter of the race course, which is really good for your body to experience. You know, when you've run 18 kilometers and then you're being asked to go off-road, it's tough, you know, the stability required to run off-road in a fatigued state is hard. Um, but if you put yourself through it two or three times uh, in training, then it's really going to help prepare you on race day. So that's Sunday for the non-stop runners, the Couch 5K members. Now, quite a few of them will be doing their first ever park run event or probably first ever running race um, on Saturday uh, that week. Um, so down at Pitville Park, I'm meeting at 9 a.m. And if that is you, then I would suggest you don't actually do this um, Sunday morning run from the pump room because you've just done your first non-stop 5K, right? You don't want to be following it up with a 45 minute uh, straight afterwards. Um, but if you're unable to attend the park run, and I know that some of you can't, then these are the route options for you to, to go with uh, if that's the case. So as I say, a really exciting week ahead for us. Um, lots of good new stuff happening and i just really want you all to embrace this new uh, system we have uh, and really let us know um, whether you're going to be able to attend the social event in september these are two massive things that are going to be we're going to be mentioning to you regularly over the next week or three or four um, to make sure that you know everyone's on on task uh, but yeah thanks for watching and if you, you know, if you're not a member, you want to come and try some sessions with us, by all means, click the link below and, and get yourself booked in for a phone call so that we can set you up with some trial sessions. 
and um, I promise you that they will be the best experience you've ever had with a running club, um, in partially thanks to the new system that we're going to have set up uh, by then. All right, thanks for watching. See you soon.